DeMar for MVP. Fuck the king. I don't even watch the NBA. Scotty Barnes is definitely Damian Lillard is not trip. loyal. Jordan Poole for MVP. Wait, the Falcons aren't an MVP. That's ridiculous. You clearly don't know basketball. Who is Kevin Durant? Stop calling Kaminga cum bucket. Kyle Lowry should run center. If anything, Zion should just gain weight. They gotta start bull bull. Ben Simmons for a second round pick. Take it or leave it. Welcome to the NBA GOAT, the greatest of a week's time, the show that is about some of the highlight players in the NBA this week, either for their skill or their entertainment value. In today's episode, we're going to be writing our players of the week on this group virtual whiteboard, which you can imagine with some of my good buddies who are Mason and Tyler, is going to be very fun. Okay, let's get started with our player, player of the week, player of the week. Tyler, you go first. Draw your favorite player of the week. Type something. Uh, my player of the week is Will Barton. You mean Will Barton? Yeah, Will sure. Will Barton? Sure. That's not how his name is spelled. It's just B-A-R-T-O-N. Will Barton? What was so special about Will Barton? Over the last week, he's been stepping up to help the Nuggets get through like the last couple of games. He's put up 20 points per game on 47.6. He played 82 field. games in 2015. What, what the fuck? fuck was that? He also shot 45% from three. I just think he's been a big help over this last week for the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> Trying to help them keep going when they're missing their like secondary star in Jamal Murray. Mm, and their first star for a game. We'll get oh, into yeah, that later. Jokic. Will Barton, very valuable role player, got paid this season. Is there anything interesting about Will Barton other than the fact that he's playing good? I mean, he looks pretty skinny. He gets a skinny award. How about you, Mason? What's your player of the week? I don't have a player Dude, of the week. Uh, I'll also assign your player of the week. Your player of the week is... Okay. If you assign me anyone other than Gary Payton the second, Akun I'm gonna oh, okay. come to your house and I'm burning it. Your player of the week is Gary Payton, Gary Payton the second. Gary Payton the second. What's so special about Gary okay, Payton the second? I'm just gonna draw out why he's so special, bro. Special. This is Kelly Oubre, bro. Oh, right. true. Kelly Oubre got dunked on. Uh, on his ass, bro. On his ass. Everyone wanted us to Kelly take Oubre. Davion Mitchell, but we have our <laughs> we have our own Davion Mitchell on the roster. Bro, Davion Mitchell's goaded. Gary Baton. Bay Area. Gary Baton. Okay, let's go to my player of the week. Ward... Wardell... Stephen... Curry. He's the best player from this week. Fair enough. He is the offense. <laughs> The offensive engine behind the Warriors so far in this young season. I don't want to jinx the Warriors season, but Steph is having a dominant fucking week. Curry dropped 50 in a comeback against the Atlanta Hawks, which is good. POV of the Golden State Warriors. This is the Timberwolves. Absolutely gunned down the Timberwolves. Oh yeah, the Lakers couldn't defeat the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards dropped 40 against us, but we're still better. And the second and third quarters behind the Bulls game was just special, you know? Like, there was magic in the building when fucking Curry was draining all those threes, despite despite this guy being out of the game for safety protocols. I'm not overreacting, though, to the Warriors being good. Uh, if anything, Warriors fans should know not to because of 73-9. Good stuff so far, though. <laughs> who the fuck is this? I think, is it LeBron, dude? Like, who other than LeBron is number six? You better come back. Sincerely, my fantasy team. Let's get to the event of the week. Uh, in this event of the week, we're going to be covering the Nikola Jokic versus Markeith Morse slash Jimmy Butler thing. Let's quickly reenact this one. So first, this is slide one. We have uh, Nikola Jokic right here. Now this is Markeith Morse to Jokic on the play. Straight to his ribs, you know. Not, not a cool thing. Not a cool thing to do slide two now this is nikola Jokic. after he's getting a little bit mad so he decides to get his shoulder into it and punk the fuck out of markeith morse anyway nikola Jokic, tough serbian guy had to defend himself this was a dirty play and he retaliated with a dirty play i've heard a lot of homers being like Nikola Jokic had no reason to fucking make that play, but he clearly got a shot to the ribs, as you can see by here. Yeah. 
not some a cool angles thing to do. it looks like the the shot he took wasn't that hard from the inbound position he's getting hit like from the ribs easily yeah hold on let me draw the skeletal system of your ribs really quick these are your ribs now imagine if like this happened to it just imagine that tyler can you imagine that have you um, ever gotten your ribs popped? Not popped, but I have gone hit in the ribs, and it does not feel good. Mason, elaborate on the story of number 22 on the Miami Heat. Didn't he say, like, meet me in the locker room? Meet me at the fucking back! That's what he said. Further development, Tyler, do you do you know about the the Jokic brothers? These, uh, these fine yeah. seven-foot gentlemen? After the game, the Jokic brothers and Morris took to Twitter to talk about the events that um, occurred and the Jokic brothers actually made their own joint account just so they could respond to Marquise Morris's comments about what happened during the game. Yeah and they I heard they actually bought tickets to the next Miami Heat game. Oh sounds interesting. Yeah. Well there's no more team of the week so uh, see you guys next week. <laughs>